Thank you for joining us for another one of our virtual multi story times. My name is Miss Sarah and we are recording from El Dorado today. To get things started, we are going to do our welcome song. We need a few things. We need our ears. We have those. Good. We need our hands. We need our belly. We need our feet. Do you have all those? Okay. We're ready to get started. It goes like this. Well, hello everybody. Can you wiggle your ears? Wiggle your ears, wiggle your ears. Well, hello, everybody. Can you wiggle your ears? Wiggle your ears. Nice. All right, the next things were our hands. Goes like this. Well, hello, everybody. Can you clap your hands? Clap your hands, clap your hands. Well, hello, everybody. Can you clap your hands? Clap your hands. Perfect. All right, our next thing is our belly. We're gonna rub our belly, warm it up. Ready? Well, hello everybody, can you rub your belly? Rub your belly, rub your belly. Well, hello everybody, can you rub your belly? Rub your belly. All right, what was the last thing we needed? Hmm, it's our feet down there. All right, we're gonna stomp our feet. Ready? Well, hello everybody, can you stomp your feet? Stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Well, hello everybody, can you stomp your feet? Stomp your feet. Nice. Hi everybody, I'm Miss Haley, and today we're going to do the mystery bag. Okay, so let me start with three hints for you. Hint number one, it can be really small or it can be really, really, really big, okay? Hint number two, they're very fat and pretty round. Number three, they're orange. Okay, let's think of some guesses. Could it be a cat? Do you think there's a cat in the bag? Hmm, do you think it's a cat? I don't hear any meowing. Hmm. Could it be an elephant? They're fat and round. Hmm. But they're not orange. Hmm. Do you think it's a bicycle? Do you think I put a bicycle in the mystery bag? Hmm. Bicycles aren't fat. Let's see. I think it's a pickle this time. I think it's a pickle. No, pickles aren't orange. Hmm. Do you have a guess? Let's see what it is. It's a pumpkin! Did you guess correctly? Did you guess a pumpkin? It's Chloe from the library and today we're going to read It's Pumpkin Day Mouse by Laura Numeroff and Felicia Bond. We have permission to read this book from HarperCollins. Thanks again. It's Pumpkin Day Mouse. Mouse has seven pumpkins to decorate. Can you see seven pumpkins? I see one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There are seven pumpkins. Mouse paints a happy face on this pumpkin. This pumpkin is sad. Oh, sad pumpkin. This pumpkin has a silly face. Look at him. That's a pretty silly face. Can you do a silly face? That's my silly face. <laughs> this pumpkin looks surprised. <gasps> Look, he's surprised. I wonder what surprised him. Hmm. One of the pumpkins is missing. Do you see a pumpkin? I see one, two, three, four, five, six. I thought we had seven. Where'd he go? Eek! What is that? Boo! Dog made a scary pumpkin. <gasps> that is pretty scary. Look at the dog. He painted a scary face. Now it's time to make 
friendly pumpkins. They're all little cats. Happy Pumpkin Day, Mouse. Look, there's our sad pumpkin, our happy pumpkin, our surprise pumpkin, silly pumpkin, scary pumpkin, and our friendly pumpkins. Did you like that book? Five Little Pumpkins. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. One, one pumpkin. The second one said, there are witches in the air. How many pumpkins do you see? I see one, two, two pumpkins. The third one said, but we don't care. The fourth one said, we'll run, run, and run. How many pumpkins do you see? One, two, three, four. Four pumpkins on a gate. The fifth one said, I'm ready for some fun. Woo went the wind and out went the light. And the five little pumpkins, one, two, three, four, and five, <laughs> all rolled out of sight. Stay tuned to watch Miss Sarah and Miss McGrace teach you the hand movements to the Five Little Pumpkins song. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one says, oh my, it's getting late. The second one says, there are witches in the air. The third one says, but we don't care. The fourth one says, let's run and run and run. The fifth one says, I'm ready for some fun. Ooh, with the wind and with the lights and the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. All right, it's time for our second book. We are going to read Pumpkin Trouble by Jan Thomas. We were given permission to read this book by Harper Collins. Mm -hmm. <gasps> There's something inside that pumpkin. What do you think it is? Should we find out? Okay. There's so many pumpkins. Pumpkin trouble. <gasps> this will be great! Oh, there we have duck. And there's a big pumpkin. I can't wait to show pig and mouse my jack-o'-lantern. They'll be so surprised. Just one last seed. Have you ever made a jack-o'-lantern before? Have you ever put your hands in the pumpkin? It's all goopy. Well, Duck is cleaning the pumpkin out. There's one last seed in there. <gasps> Whoops! Uh-oh. This isn't good. Duck fell in the pumpkin. Can anyone help me? Uh-oh. No, it looks like a pumpkin with legs. Pig? Mouse? Are you there? He's gotta go find help. Hello? Monster? A pumpkin monster? Where? Oh no! It's chasing us! Now they're running! Here comes Duck in his pumpkin. They don't know Duck's in there, do they? They just think it's a pumpkin with legs! Or a Pumpkin monster! It's chasing us! <gasps> Help! Now Duck is running. He thinks there's a monster too. Quick! Behind the barn! They're running, running, running. barn. Oh no, Duck can't see the barn. Why? 
Oh yeah, he's got a pumpkin on his head. What do you think's gonna happen? Smash! Hey, there's Duck. Ooh. Duck? Look! Duck battled the pumpkin monster and won! I did? They thought there was a monster the whole time. Who was the monster? make a jack-o-lantern to celebrate. It's gonna try again. First one didn't work out very well, did it? Oh, there's a jack-o-lantern. What's inside? I wish Duck were here to see this great jack-o-lantern. Where is Duck? Uh, can I get a little help? Oh no, it happened again. All of our pumpkins are now jack-o'-lanterns. The end. Did you like that story? Have you ever made a jack-o'-lantern? What kind of face did it have? Jump, 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 jumping high are we. But we'll stop jumping while we count to three. you can jump right back down into your seats. We've reached the end of our story time, which means it's time for our closing goodbye song. We're going to use three words of American Sign Language in this song. So the first word we need to learn is goodbye, and that's just waving your hand like this, goodbye. The second word that we are going to learn is friend. So you're going to take the first finger on each of your hands, you're going to curve it, and you're going to act like they're giving each other a hug. This is friend. And then the third word that we're going to use is time. So you'll just point like you have a watch on your wrist. So we have goodbye, friend, and time. Let's do it together. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends, it's time to say goodbye.